what is up everyone welcome and or welcome back to my channel if y'all are new if y'all never seen my face before here welcome my name is mara thank you guys so much for stopping by we like to grow natural hair here on this channel so definitely make sure you go ahead and give us a thumbs up make sure you subscribe and join the fam because you know we back we better so as y'all can see my hair is in a little bunny bun it's in a bunny bun and i did actually record this video for you guys so you guys may have seen this hairstyle right here if you did not go and see it make sure you click out of this video to go see this hairstyle make sure y'all come back okay because y'all need to see the products all the products that i'm going to be telling y'all about that i've been using for my protective styles y'all gotta see these so come on back when you're done all right so like i said y'all see this little bunny bun right here it's not a low bun like i normally do we switched it up this summer and I started doing these type of buns because one, you can either wear it braided, you can wear your ponytail loose, or you can wear it in a bun like that. And y'all, I've been working out, like, <laughs> I've been working out. So I started working out beginning of July, and I've been pretty consistent. I've been working out four to five times a week for 45 minutes, sometimes on my lunch break, sometimes after I get off of work for an hour, and I be sweating. So... Pretty much the gist of this video is I'm going to be showing you guys exactly what I've been using on my hair because I've been doing nothing but protective styles. For the people that have been skeptical in the comments on how I get my hair to grow, like, oh, that's all you do is protective styles. You can't sit here and tell me that you've been doing protective styles. Um hello i've been doing protective styles i've been doing protective styles since the last time i straightened my hair i think that was back in like february or march or something like that the last time you guys see my hair straight i've been doing protective styles since and since that video i did like a little quick stretch in the shower with my hair when i washed it and y'all i would say that my hair is about mid butt cheek length i'm sorry if that's too much information but it grew and it's been up in protective styles since. Today I want to show you guys the products that I've been using because I had these products for a while. Some combinations I didn't use together until recently. So I'm just going to show you guys everything I've been doing because these are the products that I've been obsessed with for June and July. And I just got to share it with y'all. So... We got the products, you guys can see we got the products here. So the first product that I want to grab, I feel like I've talked about this in one of my previous videos. I'm going to start off with the shampoo. So the shampoo that we have, I've definitely talked about this in one of my previous videos. This is the Cream of Nature Pure Honey Moisturizing Dry Defense Shampoo. Like I said, you guys have seen this before. I don't have the conditioner up here. I just did not feel like bringing it with me. But I always use the shampoo and the conditioner, the corresponding lines together. I never switch it up. I'm just weird. Maybe it's like OCD or something. But if I'm using this shampoo, I'm using this conditioner as well. Now, what I really like about this, it's not drying, okay, y'all? Your hair is not going to be stripped. It's not going to feel dry. Y'all know that I have been obsessed with Pantene's Rose Water Conditioner and Shampoo and their hair mask as well. I'm still using that. I'm still obsessed with it. But, y'all, I did not feel like going to the store and paying $9 or $12.99 for the big bottle of shampoo and $12.99 for the big bottle of conditioner for Pantene Rose Water. And I was like... I already got shampoo and conditioner at home. Let me use what I got. So this is what I ended up switching to because I ran out of Pantene. I've been using this for quite some time now. And me using this over the past few weeks, this just reminded me as to why I love this line so much. Because like I said, it's not drying in me, especially because I have really dry hair. It doesn't dry my hair out. And when I go to detangle or when I go to wash out that conditioner, like there is still some type of moisture and slip there and that's what I like because if y'all know, y'all know, y'all know, natural hair can be very dry. I've had dry relaxed hair so I knew going natural my hair was going to be dry but this really does not make my hair feel dried out whatsoever and I've washed my hair twice with the shampoo like two times in the shower with the shampoo, go to the conditioner and then we detangle, y'all 
definitely make sure that you pick up this and it really smells amazing y'all always see that i have to smell everything even if it's a product that i've used before i'm smelling it because i'm not using nothing that stinks in my hair and i just like i just like smelling good stuff everything that i will be talking about here y'all can find it in the links below down in my amazon store so that way you guys can read reviews on it and stuff if you want but i will have everything linked down below for you just so that way it's in one place the next thing that i'm obsessed with y'all let me tell y'all what i'm obsessed with because i've actually had this i probably had this for a year before i started using it i've never used it before i just had it because I was like, I bought the shampoo conditioner, probably leave-in conditioner. Why not just add to it? So this product, and don't laugh at my bottle, but this product is the Pantene Gold Series Hair Repair Reconstructing Mask. Now when I tell y'all that I love this mask, I love this mask so much. I love it. I can't even tell y'all how much I love it because I love it, okay? So... I probably used this mask about six times. I think I can get another use out it. Um, hopefully I can get another use out it. And I tell y'all that the slip that you will get from this mask. Now what I do is I go with my shampoo, I do my conditioner, I rinse out the conditioner. We didn't detangle as of yet. Rinse that conditioner out and then you just squirt um I want to say dime size, but we don't use dime sizes. I don't use quarter sizes either. Just keep squirting until you feel like you got enough to cover your hair. And then you apply it in your hair. And like the moment that you apply it, y'all, the moment that you apply it, you will notice a significant difference. Like it will just glide through your hair. If you put it on a knot in your hair that you have or a tangle, it will snatch the tangles right on out, okay? It's going to snatch those tangles out. And when I tell y'all like the first time that I ever used this, I was like... I should have been recording because my face in that video if I would have been recording would have just like showed it all like I said after I apply my conditioner we not detangling yet you apply your mask you let that mask sit in your hair for about five minutes while you are washing your body you taking a shower you taking a bath whatever it is that you need to do do it and then how I do it, how y'all always see me dipping my head in the water back and forth a little bit to detangle, that is how I do it. So I have my hair down, I have my mask in, this is the shower right here, this is the shower water, and then we just dip our, <laughs> we just dip our head in a little bit, detangle, and when it's time to detangle, detangling takes like less than a minute for my whole head. Less than a minute. Again, this product will not dry out your hair. And again, that is why I just love Pantene's like natural hair collection lines or whatever you want to call it. Because I've used the Gold Series shampoo and conditioner. I've used the Rose Water Conditioner and Shampoo. And I have not had a problem with any of the products drying out my natural hair. Okay that's what we need to look for we don't need products that are going to dry out our hair because if your hair is dry it's going to easily get tangled when it's time for you to detangle that's something that you don't want because that's just going to make a bigger mess you have one tangle with your dry hair and then you go to detangle you're going to end up having another tangle and then you're going to have more breakage because you're trying to pull that tangle out with your brush or your comb and it's just gonna be a mess so definitely look into this if you're interested if you have drier hair if you need slip while detangling whatever the case may be this is something that I would recommend and I do use this as a deep conditioner like I said I only keep this in for about five minutes while I'm taking a shower and I rinse it out and that is how I've been doing it probably for the past few weeks so I would say probably a month and a half, two months if so. Alright, the next product that I'm obsessed with, which I didn't think I was going to be obsessed with because I didn't really like it the first time I used it. We're going to go ahead into a leave-in conditioner. So if you guys watched my previous video with the TGIN Rose Water Leave-In Conditioner and the Matching Gel, I did a review on my channel, I want to say like a year ago, and I wasn't too impressed with the leave-in conditioner because I really like the brand's um, tea tree conditioner they're a tea tree leave-in conditioner that works amazing for my hair it doesn't have much it doesn't have too much of a scent with that conditioner and with this I just felt like there was too much of a difference and it didn't really do what it was supposed to do it wasn't giving what it was supposed to give and I was kind of disappointed because I'm like I love the original leave-in conditioner but this one it's not so I actually decided to give it another shot because I ran out of my 
tea tree conditioner by the brand and y'all it's redeemed itself or maybe I redeemed myself because maybe I just wasn't using it properly before maybe the conditioner and the gel just wasn't meant to go together on my hair but this with other products it works fine like a moisturizer or my eco style gel or my extreme wet line gel and it's worked perfectly so now that I've mentioned moisturizers to you you guys may have seen this a long time ago on my channel when I first reviewed the Pantene Gold Series collection this was also one of the products that I've had as well that I've used I believe my hair was much shorter when I tried or reviewed that line but we came back to the buttercream one because it has a thicker consistency I don't know if you guys can see that but the consistency it's a little bit thicker and if you have thick hair you need a thick product okay so this one it really does moisturize my hair and like I said it pairs well with other products so the leave-in conditioner that I show you guys I apply that first I apply the second I add a little bit more water and then I go in with my gel but what's really great about this if you have relaxed hair if you have natural hair if you have texturized hair if you're in the process of transitioning I think this may be a product that you may want to use in case your hair is a little bit drier if you guys may have seen on my channel or on my Instagram videos I did mini twists as well and they came out perfectly with this product I had those in for weeks and it stayed moisturized which is what I wanted okay of course I feel like y'all know how much I love the pink eco style as you can see the container is empty the container is empty my go-to beauty supply store they have clothes so I have to find another place that sells like the pink the places that I went to they sold everything but the pink eco style and y'all know I'm obsessed because this one smells like a car wash like it literally smells like the soap from a car wash so the last product that I want to talk to you guys about it's an oil I've said this before I really like using oils on my hair not only does it make your hair shiny but I feel like it kind of like creates a barrier to hold to hold in that moisture and for this style right here like I said I added a little oil I added a little oil on my on my part because sometimes my part gets a little dry add a little oil get a little moisture in there and it'll just keep your hair moisturized than any other style without oil i know some people say that you're not supposed to use oil because it doesn't moisturize your hair well i've been using oil basically all my life even when i was relaxed and it moisturizes i okay it moisturizes now with this oil in particular i use the chi aloe vera with agave nectar it's for curls and it has aloe vera oil this one it smells extremely good so with this oil it is kind of thick but not too thick um it's not like jamaican black castor oil type of thick um it has like I don't know it's a looser consistency but it's easily spreadable throughout your hair and this is definitely something that you don't need a lot of so this is one that I do recommend add it to your wish list add it to your shopping cart I don't know but definitely give this oil a try it is a hundred and something degrees outside I went outside with no oil on my scalp and right here burned it burned so much because I went outside it was hot it was sunny it was humid my scalp was dry and I had absolutely no oil on my scalp. I had to run back in the house and throw me some oil on my hair. And by the time I came back out, I was fine. On a hot day, I feel like it just helps protect your scalp against like the humidity and everything. So definitely look into it. But yeah, that is all the products that I have for you guys today. Like I said, I've been obsessing over these products in June and July because I've been working out. I've been sweating consistently. I've been sweating every single day for weeks. Right now, I just have a little bun braid type of situation and I use some of these products behind me. And I know that when I take down my braid, if I wanted to take down the ponytail and wear it like that, or if I want to just wear my braid like a single braid, then I know that it's going to be moisturized and we're going to be good. So on that note, guys, I do hope you guys like this video. Again, everything that you see here, it will be linked down below for you in case you want to go and check them. Out. If you guys like this video, definitely give me a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video.